of uh, these samples, let's see. Um, uh, let me just show you the ones that you bought. That I, ha I, I can show you them uh, on the TV, but I have better photos right here. John oh. Hudson samples. Okay. Uh, where are they? I think I... Uh, I think I remember. Yeah, yeah. Hudson. Uh, oh, right. Uh, no, these ones. Were, uh, these ones here. These ones. Yeah, that... Uh, Okay. Stuff yeah. you got on. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Stuff you got on. Yeah, I, I remember that. I remember packing that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll go. Uh, I'll bring them. Actually, I'll show show them uh, on the live stream. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I sold so many I forget who bought them. Yeah. Biggest shipments I remember because they're pretty heavy. Do you realize that he uses that money to buy other equipment? I cut him off. We we we, we when we built it, like. Oh my right. money, and then then he went. He's okay, and he went selling more metal samples so he can get more pieces of equipment. That's what he uses it for. Yeah, so I got them here. Yeah. So I have these uh, samples, and uh, I do want to get them uh, tested if I can get uh, in in contact with the lab, just basically at, at the spots. And yeah. Because like I, I know you, you you've gotten them tested a lot, but like the way I do it, I I try to make it so that it's uh, well documented, like online, everyone can see with the download the reports and everything, so there's no uh, so basically, the bunkers like uh, Paul Lovell's guys, uh, they have nothing to say besides, oh, you just, you faked everything. I'm like, yeah, the stuff's real. Yeah, I know. I know. That's not, uh, yeah. Yeah. But also also for, uh, yeah, because I, I think it's super important just to... Also... <laughs> other buyers have similar problems, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got a bunch of old wood or something, or fake stuff. There. Okay. And, yeah, really? this is cool stuff. And then, uh, and the hands get all, all, uh, all this, like, uh, metal uh, rust or whatever this is on it yeah and then uh so uh, so jackson uh rip holmes says this is not directly explaining yet what the hutchinson effect means how it how it gets produced what is its implications are and well the implications are pretty much uh free energy and reality changing but uh, yeah but again like how it works uh, and can you uh, can you describe like uh when you got your just basically describe the whole setup how you would make it uh, it, what kind of on, devices? It's on, it's on slide share. Yep. What he what he works with is the harmonics in the radio frequencies and the yeah. Slide. I can explain it quickly. Uh, VLF wideband, basically um, wideband VLF, HF stuff, low level, super high frequency, uh, magnetic field structures, mm -hmm. also electrostatic, high voltage direct current, and yeah, that's. The, yeah, that's basically the rough setup on slide share. Yeah, that's, that's that was the, that was what was used on the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, so you had all those set up, and then, and then uh, how you would uh, like decide which frequencies, what uh, stuff to do? Is it just all intuition, or what do you do? It's all trial and error, really. Okay, so you're ba you're basically just tinkering with it, and then, uh, uh, yeah. When I noticed, uh, so this one here somewhere out there, just to, for those to understanding, uh, basically John Hudson. Uh, yeah, he, he kind of like stumbled upon this, but and then... Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You have got to keep two words out of your mouth. T tinkered and stumbled, okay? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So he, he was actually researching the effect of um, radio frequencies on high voltage in between two spark gaps. And he was what? looking at what happens to oh, the... Uh, sorry, but can you can you say that again? The dog was barking at because I think you uh, described something very important. Can you say that again, Nance. And the dog's just uh, barking while you're dropping some truth bombs. <laughs> he was researching and experimenting on what kind of effect radio frequencies have on high voltage, and he had set up this system with the spark gaps, and so he had a spark going between there, and when the sparks created like this lotus pattern it just came up then the stuff in the it, around him started levitating so you know it's not tinkering he he wanted to know what happens when you add radio frequencies to high voltage now whoever who else on the planet has done that and who else who else has even asked the question what happened what were you doing right. and, and and he does listen. He has headphones on, and he's listening, listening for a certain pattern and a certain harmonics. And when he hears that, he knows that the effect is there. Yeah, I think uh, that's great. 
You know, that was a great explanation, uh, Nancy. Basically, a high voltage and then EMF uh, interference on that. So, and I guess I actually want to. I'm eventually going to start experimenting exactly what you just said. What happens if you do that? And and I have a video of this part here of John actually uh, tinkering with it. This is, one, this is one of the first ones. Oh, again, sorry about that tinkering. I, I, it's, it's a word. It's just a habit I have. Because like I call anything if I'm if I'm working on math, I say I'm tinkering with it. <laughs> it's not. It's not uh, we made a joke of it when I was in LA. Yeah. So basically, he's manifesting. Uh, okay, I'll use I'll use different words. Okay. So he was manifesting uh, magic <laughs> by magic. the har by by the uh, by the basically picking up on the specific harmonics while he's in his operation. I'm gonna get the operation. John running experiment. I'm gonna play this right here just for the audience to see how he uh, goes about uh, finding the the right frequencies and so on. Come to back here and turn on the other machines. Uh -huh. We engage certain um, Klystron power supply units, and what I'm doing is adjusting some high voltage in there uh, along with electrostatic energy and RF fields. Go with this guy here. Yeah. And uh, this was your camera you would have on the la the sample site, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, John, what is that wheel that you turn, that you're turning to, to, to change the energy? What is that? That's actually a phase shifting wheel. Okay. It activates generators in the other room, and I can shift phase negative or positive, one way or the other. All right. And I have an indicator system here that shows me up here when I'm doing it. Or a, also a, a gauge system where you can probably see it here, negative or positive. If I do it slow and then I have the, the main one up here. And that engages the, what they call variometers. What their variometer is, is a coil and has an inner coil that tilts back and forth a little bit. So the RF frequency or radio waves are then caught and manipulated through phase shifting. This unit goes into a CM11, which is a uh, old style Navy transmitter. Basically here, it's just more or less um, monitoring or running those pieces of equipment. I think I'm doing all right here. I got everything on, power up the energy here. I'm just gonna rest my hand on this 50 caliber machine gun. <laughs> yeah, so the, the machine gun, uh, how do you get these guns uh, from? Where do you get these ones from? Oh, uh, machine guns from gun sellers. Oh, so you just bought the full uh, machine gun? <laughs> uh, it's FD37. Okay, okay, and then. I have a uh, firearms license so I can buy those. That was in Canada. And then have you uh, have you tested these all out at the firing at the firing range or? Uh... Yeah, I, I did test a uh, fifty caliber at a firing range. Oh, okay. Oh and wow. Was... Yeah, because cause, yeah, <laughs> get to use this when the government's trying to take your lab. <laughs> like, all right, guys. <laughs> so, uh, the problem was I'm moving to Germany, and the government uh, the shipping container broke, and then the government got involved and. Mm -hmm. uh, they um, decided to put everything in storage and put a fence around it. A newspaper article on it called The Ministry Secretly Builds PCB Site in Surrey. I sent you a copy of that. Yeah, you did. Uh, I have Thank you. Thank you for son. Hutchison uh, Lab. I think I had Global News. I, I, made, a, I made a giant post <laughs> about your Hutchison and then... Um, and then the court case and everything else, it was, that was, uh, and people make the story into something else, like, oh, government seizes John's lab and all that nonsense. It's not true. It's just, uh, I was in Germany, I didn't, was not in Canada, and the container broke. He didn't know what to do, the court case and on, in a long story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. As a, I, I'm, just, I'm just searching for it right now. 
uh, where did I put it? I put it everything in my um, in my Telegram. Okay, more shows, documents. I gotta find where this was. Uh, I'll find it. I'll find it later. Um, this is. Uh, but one uh, one thing I wanted to show was uh, similar to the microwave uh, stuff. Just to show you how powerful microwaves are. I don't know if you've seen this video. This is a video of uh, this YouTube uh, channel. I think they are uh, Ukrainians, uh, just like in war corn Ukraine or Russia or Russians, and they're just again. Uh, I, I like I like the word tinkering. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so these guys are tinkering okay hudson is doing actual stuff so but but this is still, still this is pretty pretty cool so they they would take apart a microwave and then turn it into a gun okay so they would turn and the magnetometer oh, right here seems like it doesn't do any harm uhf yeah. microwaves affect equipments more than humans even yeah. when equipments were 10 meters away from a magnetron it began to break down tv and mini center were making strange roaring sounds Will yeah. cell phone withstand the radiation? Get ready. <laughs> so look what happens to the cell phones. It just blows it up. <laughs> Have you done anything like that? Have you done anything like that uh, there or no? With the, mi uh, with the microwave uh, oven? No, I don't so, use. I so, use regular microwave transmitter system okay so i, I may i may try this though i might uh get get a spark gap <laughs> it's about it's off a of warship and uh, they're pretty powerful i think about oh. five uh, hundred watts mm -hmm. output i fire off the microwave yeah no, that's... and magnetrons yeah, definitely uh so th just to show how powerful it is just a just a regular microphone a microwave that we uh, oven does some crazy stuff here and you can turn oh. on some lights here Love of fun and these guys have no protective equipment they're just <laughs> standing out there <laughs> oh that's kind of dangerous yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah let's see what these guys are up to <laughs> oh they're gonna blow up i think they're blowing up the uh yeah yeah they're gonna blow up a tv let's see what they do here oh, and he's just it's looking boxing. away look <laughs> he's just looking <laughs> away let's see this <laughs> ouch <laughs> Neighbor <laughs> okay, uh, Matthew Gelder says John's volume went low again. Okay, your volume's a bit low. Uh, can you speak now? See? Hello? Okay, it, it's fine for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, some cool stuff I want to uh, try out. Okay. All right. So uh, they can hear. I, 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 th I can hear you fine. Uh, how's the volume? How's <laughs> John's volume? Yeah, I'm very, right. very, very respectful. Mm -hmm. No, this is uh, epic stuff there, and I do need to find the uh, news, uh, John. News. I made a giant post on uh, on your stuff here. Okay, it should be. Uh... Actually, this is, this is another one I, I want to show. Okay, uh, this again. Uh, I always have to bring up the debunkers and whatnot. I'm like, there's he's literally uh, on the news in Hiroshima, Japan. I'm like, how is John uh, over there? Okay. Oh yeah, we had a good lab there too. Yeah. And let's see some footage here. This is uh, on your YouTube channel. Your YouTube channel is uh, Infinite Info. <laughs> but the recordings of recordings. <laughs> That's only. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, uh, I want to get to the Japan. Okay, there's Japan right here. And then they're going to show you soon. Let's see. Soon. Okay, let's see. Uh, soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's uh, just lagging. Okay. That's my uh, sponsor. Okay, J O G M Television here. They're gonna show you. Yeah, they're gonna show you soon. Mr. Hino. Okay, there it is. Let's see that. So you're on on mainstream TV in Japan. <laughs> that's that's. Yeah. Ground Zero. Wow. There's John. That's me. The Acu uh, so the tra auto translate says this, they call it the Acumira effect. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, ground zero. Yeah. Japan seems to be highly, all of Japan seems to be highly interested in this stuff. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it, what happened there. No, that's great, and then, uh... Wow, like, 
And then they built a lab there, as you'll probably see it in this one. I got lots of tapes, <laughs> even books. Let's see, let's see him talk. Oh, those you're talking English. I think of it auto translate over you. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's cool. That's my first uh, live interview, and I thought, oh boy. Oh, that's wow. Let's hope, hope I do it right, you know? I, I think I did. Yeah, it was the first, that was your first one. Now you're in uh, your 10,000th one. <laughs> well, actually, no, this is the live one. Have you, you haven't done that many live ones, have you? Or like, actually, on the radio, you have thousands. On, on radio, yes. Um, on TV, no. Mm -hmm. uh, well, kind of, this is being recorded. It's on television. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Russell, so native, native says, uh, John, your hair looks uh, looks gorgeous back then. <laughs> okay. well, no. Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, 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 well, I wouldn't mind having that hair. <laughs> try my best to look good for looking good. <laughs> try my best. Yeah. It doesn't work. I get eggs thrown at me. No, this is this is a uh, epic epic stuff. Okay, and let's see what else. Okay, so I am I'm actually like losing energy right now. I've been standing for how many hours now? Three and a half hours because I was.